Hello campers and bushcrafters. You know every good knife needs a good sheath. I got this neat little carving knife that I've been wanting to make a sheath for and so I did. And uh, we're going to take a look at it but first uh, I need to run inside. I'm, I'm, it's, it's starting to sprinkle a mite out here and uh, I'm going to go inside and see if I can sweet talk a little lady into making me a little supper. We'll see you in a minute. You better get ready to cook, Kelly. I ain't bullshitting you. Note to self. Whenever you asking a southern woman to make you something to eat, you better damn well say please. Damn. Look at this shit. Let's just watch the damn video. You reckon you can use a bow next time? Please? Okay, so we're going to make a sheet for this. This is my go-to fine detail carving knife. It's actually a carving knife. I mean, that's what it is. It's a whittler. This is old school. It's not necessarily termed a bushcraft knife by any stretch. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a sheet for this. I don't really like neck knives because I just don't like anything around my neck, but I want a sheet for this, so we're going to begin now. I'm going to start with heating. Burn, baby, burn. And here we go. I'm going to evenly heat this thing all the way around until it swells a little and becomes pliable. see this is really getting pliable so we're going to stick our knife in here on about right there I should think I'm squeezing this down now what I'm going to do move the knife to one side Put some pressure. I'm trying to establish how much of this, let me back up and show you a little bit, how much of the handle that I want coming out. I'll tell you what, this shit is hot. Good God to go for it. Damn it. I'm also putting pressure where the blade is. I want to get that shaped as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some water. And I'm going to flash cool it. how that does. So hang tight. Back. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pour a little water on this. Hope I don't get my crotch wet. Wouldn't be the first time. But I'm not really up for that right now. Cooling this a little bit to make the PVC more rigid. Notice I didn't put any at the top where the handle goes that's for a reason it's because I want to get this tighter I work in the sign industry making signs and I do a little wood carving from time to time and also carve on high density urethane foam to make dimensional type signs and I'm also going to use I don't want to get out too far out of the way here use these pliers and 
give them a pinch. Start kind of like the brown made by the pork. The more I'm scorching it, the better I'm liking it. It's neat the way it turns the color of the white PVC, this golden brown color. So I definitely want to make sure I've got every part of that. Even the char, I like the char. The char looks pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to line this up a little better. Not wasn't real happy with the way this was lining up. All right. Not perfect. Wish it was because I like things to be nice. I really do. Starting to really shape up. Starting to look like a sheep. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And I'm getting. Listen carefully. Listen for the snap. There it is. Okay. Here's where we are now. There's a knife. Now, what I'm going to do now is concentrate more on the aesthetics of the sheath. This is where I'm going to drill my hole to hang it from my neck. But I don't like the way that this is straight across the top. That's got to go. So, I'm going to use... Oh, believe me. This son of a gun, it ain't going nowhere. No way Bose. It ain't gonna happen. Anyway, I want to shape this a little. So here we go. See how I'm getting this and knocking this corner off? I don't want any corners grabbing my shirt or jabbing me in the boob. Okay, I want to make sure they're even. It's starting to look pretty even to me. All right, now, color, put the knife back in the sheath, here again, this son of a gun, it ain't, it's not coming out, it's not coming out, and that's what you want with a neck knife, you want a good, tight, reliable sheath, and that's exactly what we have here. So now, final coloring. build up a lot of heat very fast concentrated spot scorch my knife a little bit that's kind of cool I think I'll continue on with that kind of like that didn't match my tomahawk anyway I did this for every one of my tomahawks Half tang blade on this knife, but this little bastard cuts. I mean, really well. Now, that's pretty damn rustic. And here we are. My Bushcraft fine carving knife. It'll whittle like you wouldn't believe. And I'll show you that in videos to come. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we have a very rustic looking 
wood carver's knife. You hear the snap? Heard that? Here again. Now let me line it up. Listen. Yeah, that's just the way mama likes it. Okay, to make this um, go around my neck, I really don't like things that are like, like skinny strings. They're, they cut into your neck. If you got a little sunburn or something like that, like I do today, these things drive nuts. What we're going to do is we're going to thicken this cord up. I'm just simply going to take it this way. Get myself a loop. Now, I'm going to pass this in here. Then I'm going to pass this in here. I'm going to attach this loop to a stationary point. And then we'll begin our little weave of sorts. It's the same thing that people use when they're um, fooling with electrical cords. It's got one weakness. It's only as strong as one strand. Stay with me and we'll go through this. Just hang in there. I'll be coming to you. As a link, just back up. Keep the process going. Go. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever a spider. Tell you what, I hate those little bastards in the wood. I know they got a function in the place, but fuck that. I don't like spiders. Back up some more. A little cord growing. That's what she said. Keep it on track. And that'll be all we'll need. And here we go. That's our cord that we're going to use to attach our neck knife. And there we have it. Knife safety. Put it back in the sheath. And she's ready to use. And okay, folks. Here we are, this is the finished product. The width of this rope doesn't dig into my neck, so it feels pretty good. I don't think this is gonna bother me. Uh, and there you have it. Ready to rock. I hope you've enjoyed it, I know I have. Uh, it was kind of a fun little project. A little Sunday afternoon project. Hotter than two fleas getting it on in a wool sock, but you know, that's the breaks in South Mississippi. Thank you for watching. We're going to have another one coming to you real soon, so look out.